Adam with the BMW Repair Guide here. I'm in the back workshop um, and getting ready to do a, a removal and installation of fuel injectors in a 2011 BMW 335i. The uh, 335i has the N55 twin-turbo six-cylinder engine in it. We have a really nice article on our website on how to remove and install these fuel injectors but we wanted to do a quick video on, on how to use the, the tool, the removal installation tool. There is a lot of uh, confusion, so to speak, on the internet on which tool to use and how to use it. And uh, a lot of people also use the Bentley Repair Manual, which is a little vague on, on how to use this tool. So we put together this short video and hopefully it'll clear up any, uh, any problems that you may have concerning doing this repair. This is BMW tool number 130270. Um, this one happens to be manufactured by KTC Tools. We have a link actually in our article to purchasing this, this exact tool. Uh, we also carry them on our website for sale. You may wanna check um, on our site for the availability. We, we do sell out quickly on them, but uh, through either source, you should be able to get one of these. Now, there's a lot of other tools on the market, especially on Amazon and eBay, that claim they're for the N55 engine. If they don't look like this, they will not work. Just giving you a heads up on that right now. So this is the correct tool. Um, let's briefly go over its parts. There are three, uh, three major components to this that uh, we need to be aware of how they work and how they uh, extract the injector and replace the injector back into the cylinder. Um, the first part is called the uh, threaded sleeve and it's designated by the letter A in our repair article. And the, this is the threaded sleeve right here. Um, it's actually uh, runs from top to bottom and it's what connects to the head of the, the threaded head of the fuel injector. Uh, the second part to this tool is called the threaded pullout, and it's designated by the letter B on our repair article. This is the threaded pullout right here. Um, it actually has, and it's very important to note, reverse threads on it. So in order to loosen the threaded pullout, you actually turn it to the right, which would be the opposite of an ordinary screw. You can see turning it to the right actually extracts it from the tool turning to the left actually makes it go in. So it's a reverse thread on the threaded pullout. Um, the threaded pullout is what puts pressure against the extractor. Um, so we can pull, excuse me, which puts pressure against the injector, uh, which allows us to uh, pull it out of the engine um, or push it back into the engine depending on what we're exactly what we're doing. Um, these two bolts are the anchor bolts. It's what anchors the tool to the cylinder head when we're using it. Um, and so those are your three main components on, on this tool. And we will go over each one of them as we proceed now by removing a fuel injector from cylinder number four. Okay, so now we have prepped cylinder three and cylinder four, we've removed the coil packs, um, the hold down bracket, um, cleared out everything so we can get to the two, in, two injectors and install our tool. To see how we got to this point, once again, go see our article at bmwrepair.com uh, on N55 fuel injector uh, removal. Um, and it's a detailed article. It tells you everything you need to know to get to this point. Uh, so now we are ready to install our fuel injector removal tool. Um, just real quickly, uh, these are our two fuel injectors. That's fuel injector in cylinder number four. That's fuel injector in cylinder number three. Um, these two holes are what our anchor bolts, our tool anchor bolts, are going to thread into. Um, we are going to thread the tool onto the fuel injector for cylinder number four because we're going to be extracting it. We are not going to be threading it onto the fuel injector in cylinder three. We are not going to be 
uh, removing this fuel injector, only the one in cylinder four. So even though the tool will be covering both injectors, it's only going to thread onto this one. So our next step is to take the N55 fuel injector tool and you can see that the threaded pullouts we have brought them out halfway halfway out of the tool this is how you want to start when you are removing a fuel injector and remember these are reverse threads so to bring them out of the tool we actually turn it to the left excuse me to put them into the tool, we turn it to the left. To bring them out of the tool, we turn them to the right. They are reverse said threads. See, I still get confused. It's very confusing, but it's very important that you know that. Uh, left makes the pullout go in. Right makes the pullout come out. Very important. Remember that. So let's go ahead and install the, install the tool. We'll go ahead and put the tool in the injector slot. We will put the, each pullout over the head of each injector, and we will put the anchor bolts into each one of those threaded holes. So the tool will fit in just like this. And then we'll go ahead and hand tighten these anchor bolts in. Okay, so we have hand tightened the two anchor bolts on our tool. Um, the next step is we want to turn the two threaded pullouts just until they barely touch the top of the injector. You do not want to tighten down on them. All you want to do is just turn until they stop. Same with the other one. Just turn until it stops. That's as far as you want to go with it. Now. We're going to be removing the injector from cylinder number four, the left hand one. So we are going to turn, next up, turn the threaded sleeve to the right. And what this is going to do is it's going to thread itself onto the top of the injector. And we're going to do that hand tight. So now the tool is attached to the top of the injector in cylinder four. We're leaving cylinder three loose because we're not pulling that one out. So we are all set now to extract this injector. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and extract the injector from cylinder number four. We will start by torquing down our two anchor bolts. We will use a, uh, a low-end torque wrench, and we are going to torque these to seven foot-pounds. Always use a torque wrench to do this to avoid stripping these bolts. Okay, we have those firmly torqued in there. Now that we have the, the tool anchored down, we're going to go ahead and attach our 24 millimeter crow's foot to our torque wrench. And we will go ahead and place that on the threaded pullout. Now remember, once again, I know that I've said this many times, you're probably sick of hearing it, reverse threads. If we're pulling the injector out, we want to go to the right. The opposite of what we would expect. Going to the right is actually extracting, extracting the injector. Now we've got the torque wrench set for five foot-pounds. We're not supposed to exceed five foot-pounds. Unfortunately, this one is exceeding it slightly. Continue to turn the threaded pullout like so.
and we now have pulled the fuel injector out of the cylinder head. Okay, so we've installed our new fuel injector um, into cylinder number four, um, and we're going, going to go ahead and put the, uh, the injector tool back in the injector slot. Uh, we, of course, use the tool not only to extract the injectors, but to also put them back in. So, um, the only difference here between the extraction uh, phase has to do with the threaded pullouts. If you, you remember, in, during the extraction, we had the threaded pullouts halfway out of the tool. Um, when, we're putting, when we're putting the injectors back in, we want these threaded pullouts all the way out of the tool. We want all the threads to be showing, okay? Uh, pulling out, half the threads are showing. Putting in, all the threads are showing. Maybe that sounds, yeah, that, that makes it a little bit easier to understand, I guess. So let's go ahead and we are going to install the tool just like we did um, when we were pulling the injectors out. Line up the anchor bolts, line up the pullouts over the injectors, and we're going to hand tighten the uh, anchor bolts. Okay, so we've got the anchor bolts in hand tight. We've got the threaded pullouts positioned over top of the injectors. Um, and just like during the extraction uh, sequence that we watched earlier, we are going to tighten down the, um, the threaded pullouts. I don't like using the word tighten down. We're going to snug up the threaded pull-ups by turning them to the left until they just until they just barely stop. We do not want to we don't want to torque down on them. Just turn them till they barely stop. Till they bottom out against the head of the injector. Then we're going to turn the threaded sleeve to the right. We're going to thread it onto the end of the injector. Until it's hand tight just like that. So Everything should be, we can turn the thread pull out a little bit more. It loosened up a little bit. There we go. So everything's nice and snug. Um, and our next step is to go ahead and torque down the anchor bolts and we'll put this injector back into the cylinder head. Okay, we'll go ahead and torque down the anchor bolts. And that is, those were torqued to seven foot-pounds, by the way. If you ever need to review what the torque values are, just see our article. They're all written in there on our website. And then we're going to want to change our torque wrench to five newton meters. And we will attach our 24 millimeter crow's foot. Reverse threads. You knew it was coming. I said it again. So if we are putting the injector in, we're going to want to turn. We're going to want to turn the threaded pull out to the left. So we'll go ahead and put our torque wrench and crow's foot on, and we will go ahead and start to turn the injector until we reach. Five newton meter, five newton meters on the torque wrench, and as you can see, the threaded pullout is actually going in and pushing the injector into the cylinder head. And there we are, we are torqued out right there. All right. The final step is we have to um, 
remove the uh, injector tool. And, and to do that, we have to compress this pin. And usually we need a pair of pliers to do it. Just using fingers alone isn't going to do it. So you squeeze it in like that. And what happens is, is when you squeeze in this pin, it releases the threaded sleeve. It allows you to unscrew the threaded sleeve. Um, and once again, it's in there kind of tight, so you're going to want to probably use a 14 millimeter open end wrench to get it started. There it goes. And then you can go ahead and remove the threaded sleeve from the top of the injector. See, threaded sleeve comes out. Since you depress the pin, it allows the threaded sleeve to come out and off of the injector. Now we can go ahead and um, remove the anchor bolts and remove the tool from the uh, from the injector slot. So that's um, that's how you use the N55 injector tool. Um, any more questions? Please go to our website and read the article. We've written a very detailed article on how to do this repair from start to finish. Um, if you have any other problems, comments, if you need help in any way, uh, please go to our contact page, customer support at bmwrepairguide.com is our email address. Uh, either one will work. Contact us and we will get back with you. We enjoy talking to you and helping you out with your repairs. And congratulations on doing it yourself.